Theatre, Michel Barnier. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madam President. And thank you to all distinguished members who have spoken, in particular Guy Verhofstadt and Elmar Brock, Roberto Gualtieri, Philippe Lambert, and Gabriela Timmer for um, expressing on behalf of their groups their appreciation their, uh, on the work we have done. I'm aware this was a very collective uh, job. It was not solitary or personal or individual. It was a team effort. And I was delighted to participate in that because I know the House. I was elected here um, back in the day um, and also um, from the Commission's point of view, clearly it was important for us to work um, hard and I hope in a competent business-like way um, for the 27 and between the institutions the appreciation, the judgment on the work of the uh, task force and my team uh, clearly will be uh, relayed back um, Sabine Veil and the rest of the team uh, I think have all uh, merited they have deserved uh, the praise and I think that this will be seen as an encouragement it's a serious moment and it's a sad moment as well as many have said can I say to Mr Farage and to others I have no in intention of engaging in uh, polemics I've never done that I'm not going to start today we listen to everyone and we respond uh, we dialogue with everyone and we will continue. As Gabriela Zimmer um, uh, said, this is now the moment of ratification and in the months which lie ahead, uh, preparing for the future negotiation, uh, we need that on a different legal base. Uh, for the partnership with the UK, we must remain vigilant, as Guy Verhofstadt said, when it comes to implementing the contents of the treaty, particularly with regard to citizens' rights and the guarantees, which must be confirmed and made um, uh, to, to practical. They must materialise in practical terms uh, to make sure that the, the processes are, um, uh, do not cost a fortune for the uh, citizens concerned and that they're affordable. On both sides, we're talking about the future of the, the Union. It's the future of the United Kingdom as well. As I say, with um, the respect uh, I have demonstrated for the, the period of uh, democratic debate in the UK, which we fully respect, the UK, because of their culture and because of their history, because of their um, uh, solidarity, particularly at the major tragic times which Europe has traversed uh, in the 20th century, its uh, full solidarity, its economy, the quality of its diplomats, of its diplom diplomacy, it's a great country and uh, my respect for them is definitive there for once and for all. I'm convinced that we will be able to work together for a real unprecedented partnership, all the areas of uh, cooperation and consolidate our alliance beyond what we already do with uh, many countries through the Atlantic Alliance or bilaterally in order to um, strengthen our uh, partnership in a different uh, context, different framework and also um, consolidate our friendship. Mr. Farage, in those negotiations, sometimes I was asked, are there concessions which you're going to make? Well, no. It's not a question of uh, winners and losers, because Brexit is lose-lose. There's no added value to be found there. And it, it, we have to take um, cognizance of your sovereign decision. Uh, we respect the sovereign decision of a majority of British citizens and we will uh, implement this in line with the indications, the red lines expressed, articulated by the London government. I have worked throughout this year and a half uh, with the government of Theresa May and have listened closely to what she said, accepting or not accepting. How could I do anything else? We negotiated with the London government, ex expressing their desire uh, to leave uh, the union after the referendum to leave the single market because you did not, you no longer wanted to respect the regulatory framework because uh, you did not want to respect um, free movement of, uh, of people, the, all the jurisdiction of the Court of Justice didn't want to pay and you're leaving the customs union because you no longer wanted to be party to a common trade policy. Those are the red lines. Those were your red lines and we respect them but you 
in return have to respect our resolve, our determination uh, to preserve the underpinnings, the foundations of the, in of the, of the union, the internal market. I was commissioner for five years of the internal market, which owes much, a huge debt of gratitude to the United Kingdom in its design, in its evolution over time, and you're leaving it because you no longer wish to respect the four freedoms which are indivisible. And let me say, with every respect to Geoffrey Van Orden. It's not inflexibility, it's just responsibility. We have a duty, uh, a responsibility to work for an orderly withdrawal to create security and stability where Brexit uh, creates insecurity. It's only an orderly withdrawal which creates the basis of trust for the deep and ambitious partnership we all want. So, voilà, ce que je voulais dire, uh, cette négociation. So, as I was saying, the negotiation is underway because you're leaving the European Union, that's your decision, we, that's a matter of regret for us. We think it's a negative development without any um, added value. And this is why we have the sense of the gravity of the moment, which does not prevent us from remaining, retaining lucidity on our side to draw lessons uh, from Brexit. And as Guy um, said, and as Elma Brock said, there are lessons to be learned for us. Understanding the reasons informing that vote and possibly making the necessary changes in order to better respond to the preoccupations, the concerns, the anxieties of citizens. Uh, we have worked to craft that unity uh, which the European leaders wanted in a very serious geopolitical um, environment, west, east, north, south. It's clear uh, that questions are being asked all around and there is a need for unity around the 27 and the institutions. And my wish, if I can express a wish, the road, the road ahead is long and it's uh, up and down, a long and winding road. Uh, we have the 11th of December, the process of ratification in the United Kingdom on the accord, which is the only and the best one available. And in all humility, can I say that the unity we have created in these negative negotiations, European leaders of, uh, to, to which you belong, uh, must decide to put this in the service of a positive agenda. Thank you, uh, Michel Barnier, and could I thank you on behalf of the Parliament and President Tajani for your work with the Parliament on this issue and your transparency, and if above all else, your patience. And if I may say on a personal note, um, the word rubbish has been bandied about. I think, Mr. Corbyn, you use it frequently. I, well, not in the view of the majority of this House. I, I just think. Well, in I I think, colleagues, this exchange speaks for itself. The debate is now closed.